I'd like to introduce you to start this presentation to Morella Sula, our Editor-in-Chief of Migrant Women Magazine. Thank you, Morella. Well, I'm here with the Chief Editor uh, and the founder of um, uh, Migrant Women, Mirella. Hi. Tell us about where you had this idea and how did you start it? Oh yeah, uh, today has been a lovely day. I really, you know, I'm so excited. I'm so impressed. A lot of people um, here together from different nationalities. Fantastic vibe, fantastic energy. Yeah, but what inspired you? Um, this is Regents University, where I'm doing my PhD. And my PhD has to do with migrant women. When I started to read the literature, all scientific research were telling me that uh, migrant women are vulnerable, they are poor, they are weak. I was so, I felt down reading this, you know, uh, articles telling me that um, this reality is old, negative. So much, I can't believe we made this dream become true and this is, this is a, a test to tell me that uh, be careful what you wish because maybe you might see it become true. No, but I, I was frustrated. I said, it can't be like this. And I'm a very open person. I'm a social person. I, I'm all the time meeting people, networking with people. And all my grandwomen I met, they were lovely. They were powerful. They were strong. They were inspiring. I said, it might be something different. It might be something wrong. The perception is not... It's not okay, and um, because I have been doing this uh, job for a long time in my country, I said, maybe let's do a search. No, maybe I can do something to to write about these women that I'm meeting every day and to tell this uh, society that migrant women are powerful, are inspiring women, are vibrant women. And I'm sure it's going to, to become true more and more because if, if we believe in something, this is all we need. And there are four things that guide me in life. The first thing is that you have to uh, believe in something, to have this dream. Uh, I didn't find any other magazine about migrant women. I was so surprised in this, in this country uh, where more than 250 languages are spoken and so many nationalities living together. Uh, I expected to find some, some magazines about migrant women and when I didn't find any similar magazine, I thought maybe they have been waiting for me. <laughs> Joking, but um, anyway, no, it's important. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, I decided to to do to start immediately because this is what I am. This is who I am. It's amazing yourself, a migrant woman. Uh, what did you used to do uh, back home? And tell our viewers wh where you are from. Um, yeah, I I have been in London for about two years now. The first time I came in London has been three years ago. I was in a conference in Scotland and I said, OK, I have the visa now, let's go and see London. And when I came here and I felt the beauty of London, I said, wow, this is lovely. I said, no one told me London is so beautiful. I said, I would love to, to stay here, to live here. And I remember I did stay a few days more just to go around and to feel the vibe and the energy. And I felt home, you know, I loved it. I said, I'm going to live here. And I remember I went back home and that time I just had... Where's started, home? Uh, home. Home is everywhere, to be honest. I feel home everywhere when I feel good. Home is where love is and love is when we exchange um, feelings and emotions with people. But yeah, I'm from Albania. I'm born in a very small village uh, in the north part of Albania. A part, uh, in the north part of Albania. And, uh, but I have been living in Tirana, in the capital city, for a long time. I used to work in media for a long time and um, um, I felt confident to do this job again and again and it's like this is my passion now. Yeah. So you are an editor, you were in the media before and now you are uh, an author, you have a books. I mean you have several books that you wrote, can you tell me more about it? Uh, yeah, I have written several books. Before my books have been very pessimistic and uh, you know, um, like you know, um, we're written from a voice of a sad spirit. 
And now when I read my previous books, I, I, I just wonder why these people have bought my books. I, I don't like this, this, these books that show that life is, is sad and like, like a poet, you know, like some poet wants to, to, to express uh, the sadness of the deepest um, uh, 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 part of themselves. But my life has changed totally since I started to view the world different. So my last books now, um, they show... Um, What's it called? Uh, yeah, my, uh, one of the last books is Don't Let Your Mind Go. What is it about? And it's about mind. I think mind is the, uh, the most important asset we should take care. It's very important to keep this as it's a, it's a very important tool. It's like you, we have this gift and we have this tool that is, is, is such important for us and most of the time we don't use it. It's like having an iPhone. I remember I had the iPhone for about six months. I used my iPhone only to talk with people and only later I realized that iPhone had a lot of options, I like using a lot of options. This is uh, an analogy for the mind as well because we have this tool but we don't use. How important do you feel that migrant women or women have a, a platform or a voice? Yeah, this is the reason I wanted to build this platform, to be honest, because I thought that um, it's time uh, to tell that migrant women have a voice and have a story and have a beautiful story to share and have a uh, have, have positive have a, a, a you know a powerful um, um, voice within them so what I wanted uh, what I had in mind when I decided to do this was that uh, why we have to avoid that we are migrants migrants is nothing wrong and you know a lot of people when I decided to open this magazine told me please it's a wonderful idea what you're doing is great but can you please delete the name migrant I said, why? What's wrong? No, migrant for me are people that they have the courage to go beyond the borders and to evolve and to develop their skills and to de develop their themselves and to explore the world and to allow themselves to, to see what is beyond them. You know, it, for me, being a migrant is a fantastic, is a fantastic experience because these people that they decide to go out of their comfort zone, they have a big courage to explore what is more. <laughs> you see, we are five men working for. Where did you get this energy from? You know, it's. It's not me, you know, when you're guided to do something, you just do it. It's, it's, um, it's universal, you know. I'm not, it, by the way, it's just a normal thing, you know. All the people, they have a gift. They just have to develop it and to share it. And I'm so happy that I have the chance to share it with people because sharing and connection is, is the most beautiful gift we have. What advice will you give to not just migrant women, but general all the women and young girls out there? Oh, I, I, you know, if you have I, any. Who I am to advise, but, but what I really love um, to share with people when I meet them, because I run workshops with women and I love it, and the most thing that I love... Where do you run the workshop? Yeah, I, um, I work for Solely Women's Aid and I run workshops for domestic violence, raise awareness uh, about, uh, against domestic violence and to build confidence on women that are victims of domestic violence. But I also run workshops with women that just raise awareness. And um, I learn every day from them. I learn from them. And I, what I have realized is that uh, all the women, not only women, women and men, what they need is love. But love... Of course, it's something that we are born with, but we, we have to practice it, we have to develop it, we have to work with it. It's not just thing taken for granted and don't work with it and leave it. No. What I really would, would love and what I do most of the time when I meet people is uh, keep this gift within you and share it and develop it. And, and uh, my, my I, I, don't, I can't say advice, but my... my my um, call is please let's learn how to love because it's not that just a matter of of having this gift but learn how to share it 
How can people uh, uh, support a Margaret Women magazine and L or buy it? Um, I have a big vision about this magazine, really, and um, I want people to feel comfortable that they are migrants. I, you know, my my mission or my uh, uh, purpose was not to, um, to you know to say look migration is a wonderful thing and come in london and london is a paradise this is a global project we are not here to promote migration but we are here to promote migrant women it's a difference here so uh, we are here and um, we are everywhere by the way because to me the word migrant is is a metaphoric one is like uh, it's a universal one. Migrant is uh, is something that flies everywhere. Uh, the uh, migrant is like a uh, wonder, like a bird that uh, goes everywhere and wants to explore the world. But uh, my idea is that um, bring these voices together and come all together and celebrate and feel comfortable with each other and integrate with each other. So um, it was lovely today seeing so many people. And when we s we saw the list today, the list of participants was so diverse. That, you know, it was yeah. uh, so many countries, so many nationalities, cultures. This is lovely, bringing people together from different nationalities. Where, where can, uh, when viewers uh, are, or the audience can actually buy your book? Uh, where can uh, can uh, they, where they have, where is available? Uh, the book is on the Amazon now and um, is published from Balboa Press um, uh, of Hay House. So they are managing the book, but I'm planning to run workshops about the book and uh, meet with people and talk about mind and about love and what are these things that we uh, don't have to let them go. So th we have. S a lot of things that we have to keep What's them. What's your final kind of uh, a goal or your final uh, for Migrant uh, Women magazine? What's their uh, support uh, do you need for mothers or uh, stories? And if they have uh, women have a stories, where they go? Um, yeah, I, I told you I have a big vision about this magazine, really. I, I, I I know. I just know the destination. I know uh, the journey is going to be a challenge one. So I know it's not easy, but it's worth it. I love it. It's a is a, a job that uh, I do with a big passion. Um, meeting people, sharing their stories, listening their stories. It's a it's a fantastic you know experience. Um, I, my my project is to build an agency, a publishing agency, and within this agency we can publish all the stories of the of the women of the universe it's amazing what you did in establish um, and i think uh, you are exploration to not just me but to a lot of the women's out there so thank you very much thank you very much thank you